Hi everyone. A uh, very good afternoon to all present here. I am Piyush Agarwal and uh, before I talk about my promises, let me tell you that I have spent some significant time of my life in three places. Dhanbad, my birth town, Trichy, my graduation city, and Kolkata, my workplace. And in each of these cities, I was rejected multiple times. From failing to get into an IIT to getting rejected twice for a prestigious scholarship to finally taking the blow of rejections from the three B schools I am A B and I S B it's been a life of falling over and over again but I learned to pick myself up every single time made the most of my time at NIT earned a gold medal got my dream scholarship in the third attempt and lastly converted all the three schools in 2021 but why academic affairs why not gsb president or any other council this post is not just another pur for me it's like a job with the only difference being the underlying motivation instead of salary i'm looking here for contentment which comes from creating meaningful impact since the time i have gained consciousness acads has remained very close to my heart i was engaged in similar activities in my undergrad collaborating with professors and student bodies Some of us might not be aware but the Academic Affairs Council is the largest one in the GSB close to 12 people with good diversity I have led such teams during my time at HPC Lastly I think I would love to go an extra mile for my cohort and act according to their pulse Now let's talk get to the point and talk about the promises I made in the manifesto Everything I do all my endeavors would revolve around my vision to build an edifice of academic learning based on the four robust pillars of student diversity vast resources renowned faculty and a strong alumni network so first things first we have 16 core courses and 100 plus elective courses spanning across several specializations with such a wide offering we must learn the art to choose how to choose a major my priority would be to arrange info sessions by professors to get a hang of the course well ahead in time so that we make informed choices for people coming after a long break from academics i would start a beacon sg award to motivate people for helping out their sg mates in case anyone needs the push to get into the groove of academics diversity is the biggest equity that we have at isb we have people from absolutely great backgrounds and education the plan is to record a 5 to 7 minute summary of every lecture discussing critical concepts and create a repository of that for ready reference by students We already have some wonderful people organizing doubt sessions for all of us. I intend to streamline this activity and make it more formal with respect to schedules, speakers, content, etc. A majority of us would be doing some or the other case comms at some point in time. Idea is to prepare an organized library of videos, fun- industry and function wise, having the strategy by the winners themselves. At the end of the day, we must agree that peers are the real saviors. When I hear these words LRC LMS KMP Atrium etc I feel so powerful yet a bit intimidated at the same time such magnanimous resources but remains quite a mystery to most of us arranging for quick knowledge transfer sessions for all the portals would be a sort of day zero goal for me making the direct link to all the recommended ebooks available under the course section in LMS No one would ever want to violate HCC unintentionally. Having HCC rules for each assignment at the fingertips is essential to avoiding unknowing violations. A simple integration of the HCC rules in the assignment details posted in the LMS calendar would serve the purpose. To improve the curriculum objectives, we will propose to have a two-way prompt feedback system on a weekly basis apart from the regular feedback taken at course completion and a common place line to record our doubts course-wise before the office hours to save time and maximizing utility. would help the academic associates in enhancing the yield of office hours in the end i would conclude by saying something we have been taught all our lives let us make the learning for next one year so as collaborative as possible that is the way we multiply our productivity 100 times that way is probably we have approximately 2 lakh number of man days at isp yes i know it's very philosophical but i hope you get the idea and that's me leading a group learning marathon at nit in 2012 That's my time guys thank you so much and hope you vote for the credentials